Hey YouTube, just wanted to uh, show some recommendations I have when it comes to lawn mowers. Um, this is great if you are looking to buy one, uh, if you're a new homeowner and need one. It's also great if you are a you know person looking to getting into landscaping and you know just need a machine without breaking the bank. And finally, what I do is I buy fix if they need be uh, and sell them these are the two big companies when it comes to lawn mowing um, I would say they have a large majority of uh, the market um, these are Honda and Toro lawn mowers um, these are ones that sell very quickly and usually can get pretty uh pretty good amount for it reason being they sell quickly because um you know they're made pretty well in comparison to some of the cheaper mowers out there now these mowers aren't officially commercial grade um i would put these in like a kind of like a pre-commercial they are definitely better than a basic no frills push mower um they are made better all five of these are all self-propelled and you know quite a few of them kind of have different options and different settings um, all five of them cut um, they bag and mulch some of them have side discharge options toro is known for that you could see how we got the panels here here and here um, Honda for whatever reason doesn't quite use it as well but um, yeah these are definitely my recommendation if you are looking used which is something again that I'm a big uh, proponent of considering how much money you can save I would definitely um, you know keep your eyes out for relatively clean uh, Honda and Toros one thing I like to do is I try to buy from homeowners who either moved or looked to upgrade um i try to stay away from commercial uh machines just because they kind of have a little bit more uh wear and tear on them they're kind of beat a little bit i have bought them before um but usually when you get it from a homeowner uh or someone who hasn't used it that long uh you can definitely save a good amount of money and get a really nice quality machine um just some real quick things this is this is the lower end honda this is the hrr 216 um this is a um, 21 inch lawn mower it is self-propelled with smart drive right here this is more of the basic one there is no clutch on it and it does have a steel deck steel decks some people feel aren't the greatest especially for mulching because they are prone to possibly rusting if they're not cleaned out this is the more expensive model this is the hrx 217 all right and again you have different options the hrx 217 has a slightly bigger engine than the hrr 216 160 verse 190 now these both of these models uh have been replaced with newer ones um hrx 217 now has the GCV 200, I believe HRR is now HRN. Um, you know, subtle differences. HRX 217, this model is a little bit more expensive, uh, a little bit more, uh, has a little bit more options. It, um, this one has the hydrostatic uh, clutch, and which means you could stop the blade from running and then you could re-engage it you know a more expensive feature something more desirable if you're looking to buy and sell them um these are great i've used hondas for years i think they're great they always sell for me i never have an issue with it uh we also have the toro lineup again these are older machines these aren't going to be you know exactly brand new i know they changed the design a little bit this is probably the the most up-to-date one this is a super recycler uh it's got the matte black deck this one has the newer style Briggs and Stratton with the mowing stow. Real cool feature for anyone who's looking to save space. These uh, Toro recyclers, they're really known for the capability for um, mulching incredibly well. They 
cut grass clippings down so well that um, you know you don't leave clumps and you're able to fertilize your lawn basically for free this is probably the lower end similar to the HRR 216 this is just a basic recycler it's not super um, this particular one has front wheel drive as opposed to rear wheel drive and this is a little bit older but again these clean up real nice and they always sell relatively easy um, this was one I bought only a couple days ago wasn't starting clean the carburetor and uh, it runs good now I just changed the oil and sharpened the blade so it'll be up for sale um, you know usually when you're looking for a piece of equipment not only do you want um, to find something with low hours and low price but you also want to make sure it has all the features and the options this has the bag which is great um, if you look for a mower and it you know it's a really great deal and it doesn't have a bag you know just keep that in mind you can always sometimes find one relatively cheap um, it really doesn't make sense to buy one uh, brand new as it'll usually overdo your budget so anyway i hope you like these i uh, hope you like this video like i said real quick and easy these are premium lawnmowers all of these are obviously used some of them are in better shape than others they've all cleaned up nicely uh, any of the ones that i'm going to be selling they will all receive just a real quick service and by service what i refer to is a new air filter oil change uh, sharpen the blades and Usually I flush the fuel and run it a couple of times just to make sure it's running properly. If it's not, I'll dive into the carburetor and figure out what's going on with it. Um, but these are definitely really good money makers. And if you're not looking for, not looking to buy and selling them, which I get, it's not for everybody. They're good machines to have if you just need one. Um, again, I'm a big, big fan of looking used. And um, these are the ones when I'm looking used that I'm looking for. Um, they all really do pretty well, clean up well, and uh, most importantly, they all work great. They, uh, they're they nice mowers to work with, and uh, for the average person, I think they would suit their needs just fine, assuming you are in the market for a 21 to 22 inch deck mower. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. There should be more to come. Thank you.